My name's Captain Art Sapp of Native Sun Sport Fishing Charters. I'm a Shimano Pro, and we specialize in charter fishing with live baits under kites here in South Florida and tournament fishing. We fish right at 200 days a year, but it's exciting on every trip. I mean, you meet great people and you get to show them things that they wouldn't get to see otherwise. This is episode three of a three-part series on Shimano North America Fishing's YouTube channel. So if you missed either of the previous episodes, be sure to go back to Shimano North America Fishing's YouTube channel and check them out. You can also see some really exciting fishing on high-speed wahoo fishing, sword fishing, and tuna fishing. So in episode one, we talked about the technology in the rods and why they are so advantageous to our style of fishing here in South Florida and really everywhere we go. In episode two, we actually took you offshore and showed you some of the things we do and what I think was a pretty cool day of fishing. Now here in episode three, we're gonna go into great detail on the technology and the pairings of these rods and reels and why they work so well for us here. So first up, we're gonna talk about the Talica 20 BFC. In my opinion, this reel has revolutionized light tackle bill fishing. It's Hagane body, is, it's an all metal body. Basically that eliminates all flex within the reel. That keeps the gears aligned well. And basically you've heard of that pepper grinder feel inside of a, a conventional fishing reel. It's never gonna happen with this reel. So the cross carbon drag system in this reel is by far the smoothest drag option of any conventional reel on the market. It's smooth from start to finish. And beyond that, it keeps a very even drag curve as you increase the lever. That's really important with what we're doing. When we're kite fishing and letting the baits out, you can't afford to have your hand on the spool the whole time because you're letting the kite out on, with the other side and you're also trying to pay attention to the bait as it goes out. So we get the thing set just right and that bait crawls out nice and smooth as the kite's going out. So not only is the smoothness in the drag important when you're letting the kites out, when you're fighting a fish and they make those erratic moves and a, and a rapid increase in speed, if that drag is catchy, you're gonna pull the hook out of the fish every time. That's never a concern with these reels. The technology in this drag system doesn't fail us in any way. The cross carbon drag system is the smoothest, most durable drag system available. So the SARB bearing, shielded anti-rust bearing, keeps this reel running smooth despite taking a saltwater dousing day in and day out, 200 plus days a year between the charter and tournament fishing that we do. This reel has an S compact body. The S compact body style basically means that the B side of the reel has a smaller diameter face. A side, B side. And what that does for you on an eight or 10 hour day of fishing reduces fatigue and makes for a very comfortable rod and reel setup to hold. So the reel has a max 15 pound drag capacity. We don't ever get anywhere near that. We generally fish four to seven pounds of drag and it would surprise you how much drag that actually is. This is a light tackle billfish outfit and it absolutely nails it with that drag range. Basically that allows you to have that smooth, even addition of drag as you move that lever forward. And that's so very important to what we do. Now. What's even more important to what we do is its ability to re retrieve 60 inches of line. That's five feet of line per revolution of the reel handle. When we're moving on a fish in the tournament, I'm not afraid to get nine, 10 knots chasing these things because we chase them forward in this boat. And with this reel and my anglers, they can keep up with me no problem at all. This reel holds 640 yards of 20 pound monofilament and 440 yards of 30 pound monofilament when we're fishing white marlin and that sort of thing line capacity is never an issue on these things. So traditionally, we've always fished 20 pound high-vis monofilament on our kite rigs. The high-vis is basically to make it easier to see when you're moving on fish and also you can follow it out the kite and back. The 20 pound is basically strong enough, you know, for what we're doing, but not so heavy that it doesn't allow our bait to stay in the water when it's stretched all the way out there, especially on the long bait. After the high-vis monofilament or braid in this scenario, we tie, IGFA allows you five feet of, of double. We tie a bimini either braid or mono. And then obviously the, the rigging for, that's specific to kite fishing. The stainless ring, the kite marker, makes it a little easier to see out there. And on the longer baits, we fish a lead. Middle bait will have a little bit of lead. And then here on the short, we have no lead at all. And we use a little knot protector. Pick this up from the surf fishing guys. They use a really, really durable rubber bead. And I always, always fish ball bearing snap swivels. 
that's gonna keep your line straight and stronger for a longer period of time. Here in South Florida, there's quite a bit of activity out here. There's a lot of people targeting these fish. So we backed our leaders all the way down to pink 30 pound fluorocarbon. I don't know that the color really matters that much, but going up in the Keys and we always seem to like pink leader material. So I've, I've stayed with that. And then we fish in the kites, a 6.0 non-offset circle hook, basically a billfish legal circle hook. It's a really light wire, easy to penetrate. So you don't need to fish a ton of drag to get that thing set properly. I've got this reel matched with the Terez Blue Water Series BFC rods with the Winthrop Epic Butt. And we fish both the 12 to 20 pound test and the 16 to 30 pound test rods in our spread. Always the seven foot rods though. We don't choose to fish the 6.6. So the reason we choose the seven foot rod over the 6.6 is it allows us clearance in our outboard boat working around the motors when we're fighting fish. And again, we're frequently in the bow. It allows us to reach around the bow when we're fighting fish. If the fish is straight up and down, you need that little bit of extra length to get around because the bow does stick out there quite a ways and obviously the engines hang back there quite a ways. So the Terez Blue Water BFC series of rods has the Fuji SIC guides. I never worry about these guides getting chipped out or, or getting the rings knocked out of them. They're so strong and durable that it really suits the rod well. Between them, the Winthrop Epic Butt, this really gives us a classy custom look and feel. So now that we've talked about the conventional setup, let's take a dive into our preferred spinning gear. The Saragossa BFC is ideal for what we do because of what we call an infinity drive. It's a pinion gear supported by low friction bearings. What that does is gives you great power under a load while still giving us the speed we need in our style of fishing. So the Saragossa BFC spinning reel has a rigid support drag system. It's a strengthened spool support of the main shaft. It, what it does is provides for smooth and consistent drag. Our biggest concern is when a sailfish, which is said to be the fastest fish in the ocean, goes from zero to 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, we really can't afford for that light wire hook to be pulled out of their mouth. That drag system avoids that from happening. No matter what we set this drag at six pounds, we've got six pounds from start to finish. The Saragossa BFC also features a Hagane body. Basically, that means it's a body that keeps anything from flexing within the reel. The gears will always stay aligned and we stay with a nice smooth feel while we're fighting a fish, even under a heavy load. Something else that makes this reel very special is it's actually got a Hagane gear. It's cold forged. The teeth aren't cut. It's actually stamped out of a single piece of metal. That basically makes the reel extremely smooth, strong, and durable. It is the heart of the reel. So just like the Talica BFC, the Saragossa BFC has the cross carbon drags as well as SARB bearings. This reel features X-Protect. Not only does it have a finish on the outside that is very water resistant, but it has a labyrinth construction. What that means is it actually meshes together. Water can't just flow directly into the reel. It actually has, would have to flow through the channels. That makes it very, very unlikely to actually have water intrusion in this reel. So beyond X-Protect, we have X-Shield. What that means is we have 12 gaskets in critical areas that gives us highly reliable water resistance. So this reel has a 26 pound maximum drag capacity. What that gives you is a very wide, even smooth drag range. It's nothing happens too terribly fast other than the line retrieval. This reel has a 56 inch line retrieval per revolution of the reel handle. Basically that's almost five feet of line every time you turn this handle. We absolutely love that when we're moving fast on a fish. Line capacity is, isn't an issue at all either. Now we back them all with a little bit of braid before we put our 20 pound mono on top. But if you did not, you'd have 220 yards of mono, 20 pound mono, or 360 yards of 16 pound mono on this reel with zero backing. That's a ton of line. So the last rod in the series of BFC rods that we're gonna talk about would be the kite rod. It's a classy, simple little rod that features a Winthrop tip. Now the tip is very important because we're fishing in some pretty heavy winds from time to time and the Power Pro needs a smooth finish to roll through. This thing does the job exceptionally well. The rod sells as a blade only, so you choose the butt section that you want to go with it. We love our Shimano Beastmaster reels in that they are so fast and strong that they can handle any condition that we need to go fishing in. So the reasons we utilize the Beastmaster in our kite fishing, one, the variable retrieval speed is very important to us. We often want to work our baits in slowly 
so that we can actually force movement in the bait and that frequently gets us a bite. And sometimes we want to run it wide open and just get them down quickly if we're looking to make a move. The drags are very smooth, so during deployment, we don't have to think about it too much. We get the drag set just right where the kite's crawling out and we tend our baits. And same with when, when we're on our way back in. We set that thing, leave it alone, let it do its thing, and we're over here tending our baits. That's the reason the Beastmaster is so good to us when we're kite fishing. If you like what you've seen here today, be sure to click on the subscribe button below to see more comprehensive videos on using Shimano equipment to better your time on the water.